Alright everybody, it's me in the game and welcome back to Let's Play Minish Cap. In the last episode I rushed through everything and what did that cost us? That cost us two hard pieces. So we're going to go get them real quick and I'll be right back. So yeah, right over here where the mid-boss was, there's a spider web right here. We go through it and collect that heart piece. Alright, I'll meet you guys back at the entrance. Alright, so ideally you're supposed to be able to actually end the dungeon with a full heart piece. Because right, we're going to go here and grab another heart piece that we were supposed to get before we even entered the dungeon. So if you're watching this before playing this, just... just don't do what I did. There we go. And now we have five heart containers. Alright, let's go talk here to the mage. Alright, so we come back here and we're going to talk to this guy. He's going to give us some information. Uh, yes, I've been blessed with much courage. Uh, yada yada. I go to the mountain. There's a minish man there. As you would expect, the game is with Minish Cap. I deal with a lot of Minish. Uh, so yeah, it was really interesting. So I recorded the first episode on New Year's Eve. And uh, never got around to editing it for a while. To get to record this and everything. And then uh, I'm like, oh, you know what? Uh, Monday and Tuesday have a lot of stuff going on. I'll come back and do this on Wednesday. He's going to give us the bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So there are actually three bomb bag upgrades in Minish Cap that we'll have to worry about getting. So those are going to be over there on the side when we get them. And let's go ahead and activate this. This is a wind crest. Doesn't do anything for us now. We'll see it later here in a bit. Ah, but yeah, Wednesday came along. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I, I have enough time to edit this and everything. And uh, I did but ended up on the watching the news all day because, you know, it was the 6th. But now that that's over, I finally get back to doing what I love, and that's just playing video games for no good reason. Alright. Go ahead and put a bomb here. We can go talk to this person, but they're not going to give us anything yet anyway. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's go north. Ooh, another mysterious shell. believe that this is going to be a fairy fountain. Uh, you know, we might as well just keep these on. I tend to switch out of using the bombs as a button item, just simply because I push the button too often. There we go. Yeah, but you know, now that we have the bombs and everything, we can explore a little bit more of Hyrule. Oh, I just want that to go off while it's in frame. Oh, another mysterious shell. So yeah, each of the items have three upgrades. We have the bombs, we have the wallet, and then we have the quiver. Each with three upgrades. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Oh, this is one of the most tedious things ever. I never finished Wind Waker. It's one of my favorite. It, it's one of my favorite games, mostly just because of the nostalgia piece. But my God, if I had to 100% it with the trophy or the uh, statues, I just mm, my patience. But here we go, Kinstones. There are 100 Kinstones in the game. Push L here, talk to him. Or, well, sorry, there are 100 Kinstone fusions in the game. What they are is take these random keystones yes there we go. Uh, basically there's two halves to a kinstone it's much like those friendship bracelets that you had in middle school and everything it's like oh my god we're BFFs if you lose your piece it's like losing a part of my heart but well uh, NPCs and everything within the game have the other half you get to go around and find these randomly um, there's not a set amount of kinstones to be found in the game. 
Uh, it's it's a lot. We're gonna have a kinstone guide by the end of this. Because why the hell not? Alright, let's see here. Do we have I believe it's forty rupees for the big uh, or for the big wallet. Uh, 80, damn it. No. So we're gonna need a hundred rupees here. Because we're gonna need something worth 20 here in a little bit, and then worth or then 80 for that. So here we have to come over here because we're gonna leave west of town and everything. But we're gonna be stopped by a guard. Like, oh, just because you have a sword and a shield doesn't mean you have this. You need to go learn a technique. Hmm. I just killed a giant chew. I am, damn it, postman. So even though we just completed the entire dungeon, we have to still go learn about the sword. I've been given, it's the same reason that they have gun safety classes, but I mean, this guy is essentially teaching us how to be more deadly with it. There's no safety. And then release, yeah, yes, I understand. Possess my body. It, it's, it, it's just a weird text, in my opinion. To kind of explain away the uh, display, but here we go. Oh, fantastic, we got that. Now we get a tiger scroll. Eight of those in the game. That's a kind of fun side quest. Alright, let's go up here. And we'll go back. The reason why we we want to buy the bomb or the uh, big bag as quickly as possible is it only currently holds up to 99, and where we are going, there are uh, rupees of plenty, and it's not one of those games where you want to lose out on those rupees. All right, these are Keatons. They will take your money if you let them. Sucky, but they are easy to kill. Octorok, standard Zelda enemy, we've gone through those, let's see here. The cool thing with Keatons is they often have 5 rupees. Just don't let them stab you because your rupees will drop and they do not respawn quickly. So we need to go ahead and get up to 80 real quick. Let's just go ahead and do that, we're going to cut grass and break rocks, so we'll be right back. Oh, this is going to make your life easy, this is essentially is saying you walk in, you bomb this, he's going to tell you that there's a friend of his over in the Triplet Highlands that needs it. So this is essentially paying for the bottle right there. Alright, so I have 94 rupees, I'm just going to go ahead here and pay for this. There we go. So in between here and where we have to go, we just need to get 6 rupees. Not too difficult, I should say. But we will see. So while you grinding for grass, probably picked up a couple kinstone pieces. Fantastic. Let's go ahead here and into this cave and blow this wall up. And then we'll equip the shield because we're going to be dealing business with a business scrub. Now this business scrub has uh, previously had his own shop and everything, but due to being rejected an SBA loan, uh, he can no longer afford his shop and must do business out of this cave. I, why did I come in here? I don't have, I don't have 20 rupees. Oh, so this is a thing. Okay, so here, let's, uh, let's backtrack. So here's Grandpa's house and everything. We know where that is. Come down here, cut down the wood. And, can There we go. And we have one more rupee. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not, is it that hard? You can give me the shells and the hearts and everything. I just need one more rupee. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, thank God. Now, you may think to yourself, well, wouldn't it be easier to buy the bottle, go up Mount Cornell, and then get the rupees from Mount Cornell maxing out your wallet? To which I respond, shut up. This isn't your, this is the, but that might, yeah, yes, the answer is yes. And no, I did not think about that till just now. Thinking to myself, like, oh, I, I've played this game so many times the last few months. 
I never said I was playing it well. I just said I was playing it. So, we're gonna go ahead. Damn it, I didn't even buy the. Oh, God. Shut up and take my money! Please, God, put that in in post. Don't just leave it here. Actually, review your edits, Joseph. Okay, so now that we have the bottle back here at the base, we can go like this. Well, uh, we have water in here, and we're going to plant it over the bell sprout. Yes, I know what I said. Just, it's, it's currently 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? Hi. Not like I get a normal amount of sleep anyway. These are Tektites! Enemies in Zelda 1. Honestly, some of my favorite, just because they're so erratic. Also, part of the reason why I hate them so much. Okay, we need to be somewhat careful with the bombs around here, because they uh, show up when you don't need them, and uh, are here when you do. Found a fairy. They uh, fill up, I believe, four parts. They uh, don't fill them up all the way. Found that out during a trial run the hard way. Kind of made me cry. You go the whole game without having a game over. <laughs> and then in one moment, your stupidity, because you didn't choose the potions, you chose the fairy. Alright, got red choo choos. Same as the green, just a little bit more difficult to deal with. And we're up here. Oh, fantastic. Bomb this place. So this challenge, or this puzzle of sorts, comes in two parts. I'm gonna blow this up here. I know for a fact we're not even gonna get to the next dungeon by the end of this episode. Come on, we don't need... Fine. Show us the pretty graphic. We're going inside the rock. There's nice crystals and everything. It's It actually is a cool graphic. Alright, here we go. And we'll go over here. Now I keep looking at the uh, pre-rendered video files and everything. Wow, you could watch a TV show on here. And then I remember that they actually did. By God. Could you imagine spending 20 bucks to watch just a couple episodes on a Game Boy? Well, people did. And they made more of them. Because people did. I mean, it's definitely a market. Thank God the SP came out, because otherwise that would just be kind of a kick in the face. Oh, you can't see the back of your screen, but uh, you can watch this episode of Rugrats. I don't know, I'm very cynical when it comes to that kind of stuff. Alright, let's put a bomb here, wait for it to explode, we'll go inside. Oh, shit. I didn't even need to go inside, because he's just going to sell us more bombs for 30 rupees. Which isn't a bad deal, but we know for a fact that we can actually get them for less. Now, is this... No. There is one of these uh, mushrooms that you gotta pull on that will throw you into a pile of pots. Uh, this was not one of them. Do not do it. Bad idea. Uh, these here... Uh, I'll put the name up on the screen, whatever. Are my least favorites. Just simply because you can't really attack them too much with the sword until after the shield is off. Even if they bring their little bony head up. Well, I mean, there's that. I'm proving myself wrong. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, okay? I just know how to get through here. Shut up, Eslo. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? Dude! I can see your innards! And it just doesn't speak of it ever again. Probably for the best, Ezlo. Money! Alright, let's go up here. Alright, this is gonna take four bombs, but inside we have rupees and a heart container. I believe it's a hundred rupees inside. And I'm willing to be proven wrong, because more often than not I am proven wrong, and I just sit here 
Hey, five, hey, that was worth it. Okay, 50 rupees on that side. Oh, kinstone piece. So, and another heart piece. Fantastic. So, while I was grinding for rupees, I got some kinstone pieces. Uh, we'll go through the different varieties here in the next episode. It's probably going to be the opening. But, you know, there's variety. God forbid. It's a nightmare. I don't like it. I think it's fun when you do it once, when you spread it out over the course of an entire game. So yes, it was a decent mechanic. I've done it like ten times already. I don't like it that much. And then over here, alright, so what we're doing here, we're going to go ahead and take our gust jar and open the entrance here, much like we had before. We're going to go over here to this little tunnel, like where we got the green goop. I'm gonna go over here, kill these, and do, 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 what am I saying? Uh, pick up the bean sprout, not the bell sprout, and we're gonna drop it in that hole nearby, then we're gonna go shrink up to a normal size, and pour some Mount Crenel green water. I have no clue how in the hell you get green water, but you know what? Uh, it's, I don't know a lot of things. For all I know, it's possible. I know how you get brown water, though. Living in Flint, Michigan. Probably shouldn't. Alright, green water here. Alright. I don't, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. All right, now that we're human again. So I went over there to this cave. Uh, there's a blue kinstone piece, you can go for it. Uh, it's not necessary, to be honest. We'll find plenty of blue kinstones. All right, let's go over here. Let's see what we have over here. Tectites. Right through here, we're gonna have to plant a bomb. Alright, come on. And off you go, Spider-Man. Gosh, oh, see this is what I mean. This is why we switch back. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna die, Chew. Damn it. Oh, you're dead too. Blue Kinstone piece, there we go. Ah uh, yeah. Man, I can't wait until I can just pick up all of these with ones. So, these, you have two options. You can kill them with bombs, or you can wait until they have despiked themselves and blow them to smithereens. Okay, I see bombs. Okay, there we go. Push this block up. Push this block up. And, nope, nothing good for me. See, we have already reached 68 rupees on the top of this mountain. Not even by the top of it, but it was well worth it to get the wallet, I would say. Oh my god, I wish I could get a bigger wallet. I mean, I could go get a bigger wallet capable of holding more money. I'm unfortunately not Link, and I can't go just to find money anywhere and everywhere. Mount Cornell is my least favorite place, just just if any, in case anyone was wondering. Just, I hate it. It's so long, and I... It's like Mount Moon, or any of the mountains really in it's the Pokemon uh, Gen 3 remakes of Gen 1. So, uh, these are P-Hats. They are not a new face to Zelda. Uh, what they are, this is going to be the Grip Ring... Grip ring for forty dollars. I had a speech class in elementary school that I got teased for because I couldn't say my R's correctly. I used to say was. So he's going to sell us a grip wing for forty dollars. Okay, maybe I, I don't know if it was that exaggerated, but uh, there was I had this stuffed bear, 
and I took it to an event because it was like, bring your little stuffed bear to the library for tea. So everybody brought theirs in their backpack and everything and walked down to the public library with it. And we can't go in there yet. We will when we come back. Excuse me. And I named mine after my aunt. And her name is Rhonda. Damn it, I knew it. I knew I should have picked up that rock. But anyway, so, uh, Tim, the, uh, newspaper guy, interviews me and everybody else, and, uh, I am one of the poor souls who got his, uh, name and picture in the newspaper. And what did it say? It said, me here with my, his stuff, or just appear with his stuffed bear, Wanda. Was my stuffed bear's name Wanda? No. Where the hell am I going? I am I lost? Fuck you. Come up here, come up here. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, so come over here to this side. Cause I'm a dumbass. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. I wonder what's inside. Oh shit, that was stupid. Oh hey! Nice! So! Not, uh... Worth the... Or definitely worth going up here. Ah, oh, god, I can't the logic here. Alright, so we're gonna come back to Mount Cornell here later. Because there's stuff that's gonna pop up there. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Is the Colonel Hermit here? Yeah. I believe the Colonel Hermit's in this one, and its only purpose is to fuse with him. I have been wrong about things before, and I expect to. No bomb. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. This is. This is the cool one. throw a bomb in there. Ten, uh, this is going to be the first upgrade for the bombs, which is great because we go from 10 bombs to 30. No, I didn't. No. No. Neither. Oh, you are an artist. I am honest, thank you. Uh, and now we have pre-filled 30 bombs. So she just essentially had this bomb bag. She's like, I have 27 bombs in this, or 23 bombs. Do you want it? And I'm like, sure. I can. That's fine. I'll take bombs. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we are here, but we're not. There is more. My God, is there more? Kill your tech tights. All right, let's go down here. Needlessly, I'm assuming. It's gonna be needless. All right, so this might be the first opportunity to fuse kinstones. It is. So he's the Colonel Hermit. I'm gonna go ahead and click A because we have this piece with him. And what's gonna happen? A golden rope is going to show up in the Hyrule Castle garden and we will have the chance to go kill it and gain a crap ton of money from killing this literal golden snake. Yay! And we'll come back later for that. Let's, uh, you know what, we won't need the, uh, we will need the gust jar here in about five minutes, I think. Because we're not done yet. I just want to be done. I just want to get to the dungeon. P hat. Come on, I just want to avoid the P-Hat and get to the other side. Boom, it all of a sudden starts raining. We're going to go over here. Let's get, get smaller real quick. It's, it's interesting. The rain doesn't affect us 
here, but once we get down to where it's actually focused on us, it is. And these will kill you, eventually. Wait, was that a full... Let me stand into frame. Okay, I can't even get in the right frame. I love how it's uh, playing the dark, or uh, the Hyrule Castle theme from the past. Now we have a block puzzle. I hate block puzzles so much in Zelda games. All right, move it there. Over here, a little bit like this. Up to. Come on, come on, come on. That'll save us some hassle. I don't want to go shrink and then uh, de-shrink and then come back and do all this. Come on, come on, come on. I just want the silver ring. Okay. And then go and push this into the top. We're not done yet, by the way. Just in case you thought we were. You thought it was easy to get into the first dungeon. The game developers knew that you thought it was easy getting into the first dungeon. So they said, oh, you know what, you're right. That might have been too easy for you. Will not happen again. God, I hate this one so much. I mess this up all the time. Uh, do, 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 please, God, tell me I didn't. Okay, thank God. Okay. So, now that we have that one out of the way, we're going to push this over here, this over here, this one over here, and push this to the side from over here. And we're good. We are out for about five seconds. Okay. Now this is the one I was talking about with the uh, pots being in the way. You make this mistake once. And literally never again. I'm curious. Oh, no. I don't get a test cure. Ha <laughs> ha! It threw the bombs over there. Okay, so this one's really easy. Once you realize it. Mother effort. So the bomb over there as such. Lights up the path. I swear we are close. It's just all of these winding paths. Another one of these. Push dung down. I mean, I, I swear to God, it looks like dung. It looks like glowy purple dung wrapped in pixelated rock. And as such, as such, one more, and there we go. And push the statue up. Yeah, my comment about how the dungeon was like ready for people and everything was planned and all that from the last time. Makes sense. This time it just looks like somebody went through here and just undid everything on the way just to be a dick. Alright. Okay. We're gonna go through this tunnel, and then we shall reconvene my god in between all the mishaps and everything that's before. I, it was supposed to be shorter than last time. It wasn't supposed to be 40 minutes, 30 minutes, and half whatever. Alright. So, we're gonna stop here for the day. I will see everybody next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Thank you, and good night.